Hi, I'm Matt. Hey there, I'm Bianca. And we're from Club Sapphire, and we're just going through interviewing all these wonderful contestants we for us. We are, uh, and you know who we have here tonight? I'm sorry, I want to interrupt you because I'm just excited. We have Dave and Lisa. Dave and Lisa. Oh, look at I know their names. Hi. Yeah. <laughs> I just wanted to get it out really fast. Before, <laughs> before I forget it or before right. you forget it. Yeah. Yeah. Before you forget. Mm -hmm. We're having a difficult time with names. But you guys have the easy me. ones. He's and we're here with Matt and Bianca. There you go. Yes, yes. <laughs> well, that's good. Nobody ever remembers my <laughs> name. I mean, it's, it's always Bianca and the guy with Bianca. So yeah, that's yeah, exactly. you can say your name first. You're kind of sexy. I know, exactly. right? It's a tux. It's a tux. That's what it is. I'm wearing the tux so that I, you know, I look. We look very like like a Hollywood show. That I think that's what I was Hollywood. going red for. Red carpet. Yep. The red carpet. Very, with, very red. With all these sexy contestants here for the Miss No Swimsuit contest. I know. Contest. We have to like step up our game because these ladies are so hot. Uh -huh. And the men. And then, you, you, know. Know. you brought you. it. You brought That's it. What I'm talking you about. you guys out. You have work to Ooh. do too. Thank you. That's <laughs> right. So excited. So, so yeah. And you've heard about all the different things that you would do if you win, right? I have yes. plans. You have plans. Oh, That's good. Plans. He's already plans. prepared. All right. Ooh. You want, do you want to share it as a secret? Is it a oh, he'd be happy to share. Happy to share. <laughs> Trust so me, he's happy you, to share. Have you heard of the new Japanese fashion trend, where the girls are wearing like? These underwear <laughs> that give them camel toes. No, on purpose? No. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, it's all I'm over intrigued. the internet. I'm not surprised so, though. I am ordering camel toe underwear. <laughs> and I'm going to stuff them so I have a huge ass. And then I'm going to wear like a spandex suit uh -huh. with this massive camel toe and Sexy. stuff a bra. Damn. And I'm going to twerk my ass off. Fuck yeah. I, yeah. Do you know how to twerk? Oh. You want to see? Yes. Well, <laughs> I mean, we can do it. Yeah, no, no, flip, it around, flip right around. No, I'm right totally right jealous. Camera. I, I got to see that. I'm right, jealous. Turn around. Right 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 I want to move that. You might want to move that camera right. backwards because I'm going to hurt somebody. Oh. So you need to make yourself a vanity. Hold on. Hold on. Like, like, I got to take my coat off. So you need to put against you? Oh, no. What? No, no, give me a crotch. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, who's a lot? To the left. Oh, yeah. Hey, look that right there. Yes, yes, yes. Wow. This was the virgin mm. room. Okay. <laughs> All right. Okay, back down. Oh, jeez. All right, kids, now. Do you need a wet nap? Who's next? Who's next? <laughs> Matt, you sure you want to Lisa gets that every now and then. That is a hard act to follow. I don't think I could do that. <laughs> yes. Wow, that was, that was sexy on so many levels. So many so, levels. So You're welcome, sexy. sir. <laughs> <clears throat> okay. So, uh, so how long have you guys been in lifestyle? Uh, pushing three years. Three years, okay. And and how did that conversation start? You know, it started with um, the two of us discussing about wants and needs. Okay. And um, our whole life that we've lived in a situation where we love each other mm -hmm. and having desire for other people doesn't degrade or lessen the desire that we have or the love that we have for our partner. Okay. I mean, we're human. And um, just because I think you're beautiful doesn't mean I think anything less than my wife. And in reality, it took a little bit of time apart just... to find our baseline, I guess, or a sense of self. And then we got back together and it was better than it ever was before. It was insane how it flowed back together, like it was supposed to. After we were able to go and do our thing and mm -hmm. get to be who we were supposed to be, and then all of a sudden we're like, oh yeah, this is perfect. Exactly and it went from a rocky marriage to we are exactly where we wish we had ever been. We have and never been happier in our life. Have never been ever. happier ever. ever. Like it's kind of insane. So that's awesome. So so did the lifestyle stuff happen after your issues, or was that you know like so you got back both. together we, and then you th yeah. said hey we're gonna both. Okay. We talked about it. It didn't work out. We took a little bit of a break. We both grew. Mm. Both learned who we were. Um, both identified ourselves and and then we one jumped day, in both feet. One day I'm over at our house, but we're split up, hanging out with my son. And playing video games with him, he's getting ready to go to bed. And Lisa pulls me into the kitchen and she says, So I'm kind of dating three different guys. <laughs> and, and I think this would be I fun. I really want to go to the Sapphire Club. And he's like, Are you Can kidding? Can you tell me about it? <laughs> are you kidding? So here we are. Next, here we are. 
Wow. It's been two months. That's, that's a really years. quick. Yeah, it was yeah. literally, uh, yes, I think this would be fun. And he's like, are you kidding? And here we are. And we are no longer separated. We live together. Both understand that both of us have different desires and wants and needs. And it just took a little bit of reset button. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. So so it sounds, and correct me if I'm wrong, but it sounds like you guys play separately. Is, it, is everything together now, or is that... We, all we, of the above. Yeah. Okay. We play right. together, we play separate, we date separate. Okay. We, uh, date together. We, we date together, we... It's you whatever it. feels right at the moment. Okay. Now, do you would would you consider yourself polyamorous as well? I think yes. So. Yeah. Okay. All right. So you have relationships with others mm -hmm. as well yes. that actually are more than just sexual. Yes. I have a girl that I see on a weekly basis. Okay. Yes. All right. And uh, okay, that's right. And okay, that's that's great. Um, it's uh, you know it's it's interesting. It's rare to meet couples, I think, here that delve into the polyamorous it is. lifestyle. It's They're out there. They're mm -hmm. definitely out, out there, but it is rare. So we identify separately. So he identifies as polyamorous. Okay. I identify as a swinger. I don't desire that deeper relationship necessarily. Mm -hmm. But you have your friends. But I have friends with, like, I have friends with benefits that mm -hmm. I like to meet and have sex with or whatever. But, and then I have uh, play partners, I guess you would call them, where at parties or get-togethers I get together with. But I don't have anybody that I have an emotional connection with, and I don't really desire one. Okay. Okay. And uh, uh, is there anything, like, on your sexual bucket list, or you guys have just done everything? Because you guys just do everything. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Um... I think for the most part we've done a little, pretty much everything that we can imagine. Yeah, there's, there's a few here and there, but like... A few things on the bucket list that okay. I'm not ready to talk about, but... Mm. Someday... <laughs> they're they're some, kind of extreme. I think he might know about some of them, <laughs> but... kind of extreme. Yeah, but only yeah, some yeah, of them. There, but there's not very many things on the bucket list. Like, we've done a lot of, like, all the, if you could put all the letters together where you're yeah. like this and this, you know. Mm -hmm. sure. We've done MFMs, we've, we've done, done FMFs, a lot of those, we've done... Yeah, we've F done a lot of the... F -M 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 -M. <laughs> we've done piles, we've done orgies, we've done gangbangs, we've done... It sounds like such a whore. <laughs> uh, we all do, thank you very much. And I know, he likes to tell thing. everybody we're whores. I'm like, yeah, well, okay, <laughs> yeah. I can't. The shoe fits. Whore-ish. Horish. Or ish. <laughs> not, and not, I don't know. I've never had a gangbang. I have not I've either. Never, We've been in I haven't though. really had a real, in my opinion, a real MFM. 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 Oh, I totally have. MFM. Yeah, it's fucking it, it, hot. Like, you should you know, totally We were actually it. just <laughs> talking about that because it's just one of those things <laughs> that... It's fucking hot. You should totally do it. It just never kind of came up. Like, we right. had a what, situation, God, I'm like, five years ago, four or five years ago, where, where it did and it just didn't work out. Right. Uh, from a technical standpoint. Right, right. So our um, best was vanilla. A vanilla a MFM? vanilla, yeah. Okay. Oh, it was a, the guy at the wedding. It was the wedding. Don't say <laughs> so you know, like, oh, oh, that guy. Can I tell the story? Can I tell the story? <laughs> yeah, please do. Please so, do. so Lisa and I, we're, we're, we are deep That's in the lifestyle. We are like deep in the lifestyle, three September. right? And we've been doing something every weekend for months. Okay. Nice. And then all of a sudden we have like... My best friend's wedding. We have a weekend where... <laughs> We decided to make it a night home that we play together, mm -hmm. right? On and Friday. Then we, and on Friday, and then we have, and then My we have a, a, our best Oregon. friend's wedding from high school. And so Friday night we get drunk and we start getting out the sex toys. We get this, we get that, and next thing you know, shit's going crazy, right? <laughs> so even though it was between the two of us, it wasn't a vanilla night, right? <laughs> so it was not a vanilla night. So we get up Saturday, but it's night. still between the two of us. So it's pretty epic, right? So we get up to the Saturday night. So Saturday we drive down to Oregon. And we're at this wedding, and the wedding is boring as all get out, right? <laughs> and and Lisa says to me, because of the after party was at the wedding, so Lisa says to me, she's like, you drive to the store and give me some booze, because I'm going to drink a little bit. I'm like, okay, so we're at the wedding, we're drinking, she's drinking, and there's like a bonfire, and people are dancing. It's a redneck wedding. It's a redneck wedding. <laughs> okay. Dance, so, dancing in your dresses and so, bare feet by the bonfire. So, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And this, like, is, this is our vanilla night. Like, we're planning on like, go back to our hotel together, yeah. so she comes up to me. I, I, I don't know if I can give this justice. She comes up to me, she puts her hand on her chest. She's like, babe. 
I, I know this is a vanilla weekend. <laughs> he was just perfect. But I really want to fuck that guy over there. <laughs> and I looked at her, and I slapped her on their ass, and I was like, you better start flirting with him. <laughs> like, like, I ain't going to go get him to fuck you. <laughs> so the next thing you know, they're dancing and grinding and doing this other stuff. we had been all night. And yeah. I was like, so... What do you know about swinging? And he's like, yeah, I kind of know. Like, I know a little bit about it. Like, you know, so he had a little bit of an idea. And I'm like, so, do you want to go back to our hotel? Well, that's just the three of us. And he's like, yeah. I'm like, so, he and I, we took turns on Lisa for probably four hours. She's She squirted. Oh my God. I shit you not. She squirted so much. get a high so five much. for that one? She squirted so much that there was not an inch on that double bed that was not we rich. Uh, it was rich. We drove up in a puddle. Like, like so I sort of had like skin sores on my body from laying in the like, squirt for the yeah. whole freaking night. The next morning he wakes up at seven and he's like, fuck, I have to go to work. And I'm like. Yeah, dude gets up and leaves. And he kisses me goodbye, and I'm like, you know, I'd love to see you again. He's like, yeah. <laughs> and he leaves for work. And I'm like, holy shit, this bed is it's fucking wrenched. so it's like, wrenched. And you're going to wonder what the housekeepers thought. Oh, jeez. Oh, my God. They probably, I, they probably threw that out. They, they, the they probably we thought we just bed. dumped buckets oh, of the bed. Water. It was so bad. But I was like, okay, I'm just going to yeah. roll over in this semi dry spot that he got out he went <laughs> down to go to get breakfast and I'm like, oh, it's kind of warmish over here. I'm gonna go over here. <laughs> yeah. So do you have like one of those like puppy pads you kinda keep with you? She does I now. have a score blanket. Okay, it's actually now. a stadium blanket <laughs> for kids in the stadium when you watch sports. But it has, so like, I fucking from rain. Do, yeah. drag that shit around. <laughs> we have a good friend who um, she squirts a lot and um, we had a house party and she brought a pad as like a housewarming present. <laughs> and we're like, it's yours. Like I was gonna like like embroider her like initials nice. on it and glitter. Yeah. <laughs> for when we she came pull over. It out and we're like, all right honey, that's your bed. Yeah, you, <laughs> that bed. Do not move so from that bed. Yeah, you can't play anywhere else. You play there. She'll like play somewhere else and be like, "I'm sorry, I love you guys. I'm sorry." And we're like, "All right, it's fine." We have a house party that I ended up playing very briefly, and I'm like, "Oh, I am so sorry. Yeah, I'm so sorry. Oh, fuck, my clothes are covered in yeah. what? <laughs> we broke our king size bed that night." No, uh, no, that was another the, night. Oh, but another night? Yeah, no. We, we had people at our house one night. We had like we 10 people on our bed. bed. And the whole frame <laughs> broke. And like, you know, you had the two box springs. You had yeah, like, yeah, like the two oh, box yeah, springs. Oh, no, we had. Right? Well, the frame broke underneath, so the box springs flipped in. Oh, and the whole gosh. bed sunk. And I had to rebuild the frame the next day. Wow. Yeah, that didn't stop anything from anything. Yeah. Yeah. No, <laughs> no, no, no. No, I wouldn't. I, yeah, if, that, if I were in that situation, I'd be like, oh, what was that? All right, back to it. Everybody's like, oh, wait, what? Oh. Okay, uh, we're just a little closer now. Anybody hurt? No, nobody's hurt? Okay, we're keep good. going. Well, actually, we're getting that raise, like, it's like four or five in the bed, morning. And yeah. I'm like, um, the bed is collapsing in the middle. Can you fix yeah. it? Yeah, the next day I'm like... Because I want to go to bed right now. now. <laughs> and they're like... Oh, Dave's like, oh, the bed's broken. I'm like... Yeah. I'd rebuild the whole frame. <laughs> oh, man. Wow. Wow, it sounds like you guys have a lot of fun in lifestyle. Yeah, that's, that's, that's great. I, I, I love hearing stories like that where you guys, I mean, you, you can tell you two are in love. Absolutely. Yeah. And, and and you will be for a long time, and you Absolutely. have you have such a great time, and, and you appreciate what Sapphire is. Oh, yeah. And, and that it's, and you, you had actually done a speech that you had said uh, 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 when you were introducing your lovely wife to to this event and to the people out there that you really talked about Sapphire being not a place it's just a building that it's 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 about it's about the people uh, the people are what make Sapphire so great and everyone as you see by watching all these videos when we do interview someone I mean everyone we talk to is cool I mean they're just random people that you know are here at the club but everyone has we their interesting story we don't interview them beforehand to make sure they're cool that's right <laughs> we get, we get we lucky we have to we get lucky. yeah but everybody in the lifestyle is interesting everybody has an interesting story to tell that's true and it's just so much fun to always have these conversations every time we come here which is what 
makes it so, so great. Which is something Mark talked about. Mark Mays, the amazing Mark Mays is here tonight, and he talked about um, new people. If you're new and you come into the club, how welcomed you are. Like club members who've been here for a while almost want to know who the new people are so we can welcome them and invite them into Absolutely. there's Priority. no like mark said he said he's been to many clubs and there are clubs where there you does definitely feel clickish that you don't feel that here and that you know we want to know who the new people are because we want to talk to you and find out you know what you're into and what you like and you know get to know you as well so that's the thing that's great about this place is everybody's welcome it's the best part Yep, absolutely. And make sure you do follow uh, Club Sapphire on Twitter. Uh, the Twitter thing is right down on the bottom of the screen. And their Facebook page is something that you want to join. You want to join the secret group if you are a member of the club here. It's definitely worth it so that you can meet people beforehand, uh, before coming to the club that night. You can kind of prepare for it, which is kind of nice. Of course, go to clubsapphire.net and see all the cool events that are coming up, including New Year's. Make sure you book your New Year's tickets right now before they sell out because they sell out every single Time. And it, Don't and it, be that one person who's sitting at home in their sweats because you didn't get your ticket. Exactly, because yeah. that is that is the uh, the event of the year always. Always, we are I mean, it's, already booked. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Same with hotel takeovers. Mm -hmm. yeah, <laughs> packed, hotel takeovers. Book packed to the book. Packed to that to the, the as gills, many people as yeah. they can have here. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's perfect. So, uh, well, thank you so much for being here, yes. and uh, good you. luck good to you luck. in the in the competition. It's exciting. We're we're rooting for you. Uh, anything else you want to say? Uh, no. All right. Well, thank Cheers. you so much for watching, Cheers. and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. Thank you. See ya.